My name is Dr. Lee Zeitz, and I'd like to share some strategies for researching for literature reviews. Now, the steps that I'll share with you will work for all types of research, but this video is directed towards literature reviews. Writing a literature review includes four main steps. These steps include identifying a topic or research question, searching the literature to find resources pertaining to your topic or research question, taking notes about the ideas or research that you've found in the literature, and writing your review. This video will address step three and part of step four. We will assume that you have identified your topic and research question and that you found a set of articles. Now it's a matter of reading the articles, taking notes, arranging and rearranging your ideas, and writing your paper. Before we begin, I want to emphasize a difference in strategies for organizing what we read. We will discuss the article-based strategy and the idea-based strategy. The article-based strategy appears to be the most popular. This method organizes notes around articles. One way to do this is to print out all of the articles and highlight the phrases that you think are important. You can even write notes in the margins about what the paragraphs discuss. It is useful to write the main topics covered on the cover page so that when you're looking at your collection of articles arranged on your bed or desk, you will know which ones to use when you're writing about different ideas. You can even digitally organize your notes in the same fashion using a variety of online tools. If your article is a PDF file, you can use Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat to highlight or mark up your article. If you found your information in a Kindle book, Kindle software will allow you to highlight certain parts. This is an article-based strategy. This strategy leaves you with a bunch of marked up articles. You need to remember what you read and where it is so that you can write your literature review. Some of you have incredible minds that enable you to use this method, but I don't. Let's imagine that I was writing a paper on the European settling of North America. This means that I would write about who settled North America, when they did it, and what they found. Start again. Let's imagine that I was writing a paper on the European settling of North America. This means that I would write about who came to North America, when they did it, and what they found. One way that we could organize this is by writing about the people from the different countries who came to North America. We could write about the Spanish, the English, the Portuguese, and many of the other countries. Let's review our first reference. We would begin by creating a reference card for this book. This is a card that contains the reference information so that we could put it into our reference list at the end of the paper. We also numbered each reference. Notice that this reference is number one. Next, we will write a content card. You'll notice that the Spanish exploration is the topic written at the top. Now we want to write a single fact or idea that pertains to that topic on each card. Notice that this card just mentions Francisco Coronado's voyage. You'll also notice that we have the number one at the bottom of the page. The number one refers back to the reference card we just created. Next to it is the page number where it was found. So we would continue to read through this reference creating additional fact cards as we worked our way through. And then we would go to the next reference and organize that information using the same process. The best part of this is that as we do our research and build our deck of cards, we can organize our cards by facts and ideas. All of the cards that deal with the Spanish exploration can be put together to create a fact-filled section. We didn't have to remember which book contained the various details. We could collect them all together to write a paragraph or two about Spanish exploration. So, what happens when note cards meet Google Docs? Instead of cards, we'll use Google Doc. 
Instead of headings at the top of each card, we will enter each topic as a heading in the Google Doc. We will insert the facts and ideas under the appropriate headings. The result is a list of facts grouped by category. And instead of a reference card, we'll have a list of references at the end of the list. So what does this mean for me? Even though you may have started using the article base strategy, where all your notes are grouped by articles instead of by topics, give this idea base strategy a try. Just try it for the next two articles that you're going to read. It's easy to set up. Open a Google Doc, identify some headings that are relevant to your topic, begin to read your article and group your notes based upon these headings, or add others that are relevant. I hope that this video has provided you with some insight into an effective and maybe more efficient way for you to take notes for your literature review. Good luck, and I look forward to hearing about your successes.